like two of you on one side tied together, me on the other side tied together, jumping at the pillar, and then the rope would catch the pillar. Oh yeah, just wrap around and we get yeah. pulled pulled right in. That sounds good to me. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, so now we've gone from so platforming to literally force. fulcrum air hooking you guys. <laughs> We just went to Metal Gear Solid Five. We're, yeah, excellent. We're gonna skyhook this thing. Um, hey, this sounds like a brilliant plan. I'm all for this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right, we'll have to time our I jumps throwing perfectly. Throwing it out there. Throwing it out there. We'll, we'll both. <laughs> we'll leap up to the right. You leap up to the left. We'll just aim, you know, right. So we cut the bell tower, wrap around. It'll pull us right into the entrance. Yeah. No one's thinking angular momentum is going to be a bitch when we slip into the. <laughs> oh, no, it's fine. We'll spin around a couple times and then land, right? Oh god, just like a roller coaster, it'll be great. Uh, all right. So, who's right, the center right. of this formation? <coughs> uh, uh, there might not be one. The way I'm yeah. imagining is one person's in the center, and then it's tied to the other two. Is that and correct? We're going to do like two and one. Do like yeah, one and two. Because he yeah, has way, he has like all his like heavy gear and okay. all his stuff. He's super skinny. I'm not that big. So what so. about the third person? No, yeah, we're gonna go uh, the the range, ranger and cleric on one end, and the fighter. Oh, okay, all right, I got it now. Yeah. All right, so you're trying to even the balance out. Balance the yeah. body weight. All right. Okay, so <laughs> I can't decide. I'll let I'll let you guys pick this one. You're either using dexterity or intelligence. To defy danger here as you fly through the air towards Benezia. Um, yeah, so so can I, like, we're all gonna have to roll something. Like, yes. I'll roll a dex, I think. Uh, I'll roll a dex. I think I would be better off rolling intelligence on this. Okay. Alright. Yeah, I think I think either is. Let's see it and tally up the results. Ooh. Excellent. Oh, even Whoa! better. Oh, nice. <laughs> wah, wah, wah. All right. <laughs> All right, there we go. The whole spread. So, so I'm with our awesome. You guys are just like tripping over each other. Who were the two that were tied together on one side? Uh, uh, the first two rollers, be... right? Oh, no, no, no. It was, oh, no, no, it was... Aaron. So it's yeah. Dirk and Aaron are tied together, right? Yeah, and I guess right. partial and a failure. Yeah, so... <laughs> You guys are on the hard side of things. Okay. Oh, boy. Well, Dirk, you stumble, hesitate, or flinch. Here's the deal, man. Mm -hmm. You know that uh, if you don't untie Aaron and let him fling out into the open, he's going to pull you along with him. It's, it might pull uh, It might pull Harlow with you, too. Like You guys just were going way too fast, and as you got whipped around... Basically, Aaron's just like, ah! He's at the end, he's like, oh god, I can't get a hand on the perch! <clears throat> so you can, like, saw through the rope and let him go, or you can both suffer the consequences together. Um, Who's more shit. important, you or him? Shit. Um, god, we should have said how long we were hanging out together. <laughs> I think it's been minutes. a long time. Like, I, no, I think it's been a long time because uh, you know we we had like a sound like we had a rap sheet together, right? Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. So I'm just like, uh, what I'll do is just like panically uh, try to like get another um, another grapple hook out of like my adventuring gear. Is all you know. I'll just like be like, we're not gonna make it. Cut us both off, like yell to um. Harlow. I say Dez, but it's Harlow. Are you gonna you're gonna cut both of yourselves loose, Dirk? Uh, no, no, I yell to him because like he's he's okay. tied to us, right? All right. So, so that's just like flavor uh, text. All right, Aaron. Wow, I gotta figure out what happens to you, buddy. <laughs> um, yeah. So not good. So. I think I get to use the same move on both of you because because Aaron failed completely and Dirk was just like fuck it I'm just gonna let this happen. Uh, both of you take five points of damage as you slam into the side of the bell tower at high speed, 
And uh, what happens is Aaron hits first, and and then Dirk lands on top of him shortly afterwards. So it's like BAM, and the whole tower you hear like a slight, uh, very high pitch, like high C, bing, and then Dirk slams into him. It's like bong. <laughs> Harlow, you land perfectly, like, right where you're supposed to be, but you're getting tugged every time they, like, zoom around the tower, and now the rope's, like, tangled up around the tower. It looks like someone tried to, like, cat's cradle or something. Yeah. They're not very good at it. Yeah. <laughs> but, but uh, yeah, Dirk and Aaron are both... <laughs> they're both pancaked to the side of the thing, and they're like being... Like, holding onto the rope? Yeah, so after they hit, they kind of slide down, and now they're, like, hanging like this... Uh, if you don't act quickly, their their combined weight is gonna pull you over the side with them. Yeah, no, I'd like to like slide down on my like on my backside and like put my feet up to hit the ledge to stop. All right, yeah, you're doing the tactical. All right, cool. Uh, can you defy danger with strength? Sure. I think if you succeed at this, you can definitely pull them up. Yeah, yeah, okay. All right, <clears throat> so here's the deal. If you do this slow and careful, you can pull them up. No problem. It's going to take a while, though. If you want to yank them up, as you feel the two dragons, like, shifting and gravity goes into flux again, you can. But you're going to deal two damage to yourself as you, like, herniate a disc or something. <laughs> You know, you're just you're just like yank, and then you hit your shoulder into a wall, and yeah. What's long? Like twelve hours? Uh, no, like <laughs> like two twenty-seven or three, hours. Two Way or three minutes. <laughs> the whole day. Yeah. And no, Aaron, but you know, if you to... have to do it the long way, you're gonna have to be like, oh god, oh Aaron, you gotta gotta stop eating the butternut squash. I can't help it. And I'm like, oh, I think I broke my ribs on your face. <laughs> I'll take the long way, all right, and hope that like the shifting gravity maybe pulls I them think up your a little ribs bit. Broke my face <laughs> to aid me. All right, so as uh, Dirk and Aaron crest the top of the the ice tower and and start standing up and dusting themselves off, um, the hatch that's underneath the ice bell opens up, and someone is just like, "Hello out there, what are you doing up here?" Uh, help me. Help me, please. Pull them up. <laughs> what? Why would I help you? Because they're falling. Well, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I asked what you're doing up here. I'm just trying to get a great view with my friends. Will you please help me up? Oh, well, that's kind of reasonable. So, yeah, they're already, your friends are already up there, and he's like, well, let me come up there. And uh, an elderly elven gentleman kind of dusts himself off. He looks old, but probably not old enough to be Kamkachka from the Mage's Prison. He's like, oh, well, don't you boys look to be in a right proper mess there. He, he comes over and starts, like, adjusting your clothing. Like, Harlow, he's, like, grabbing some of your armor pads and, like, pushing them into place. He's like, oh, you boys need to learn how to take better care of yourselves. You look such a fright. Did you break your nose sometime soon there? No, I think over I'm at okay. Dirk. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's like, oh, oh, that was brutal. I thought it was going to be easier getting up. Is this the only entrance to this place? Well, I mean, there's plenty of entrances as long as you know how to step between the planes. Oh, stepping between dragons is enough for me, thanks. I don't. Oh, think. well, you mean you don't know how to apply Tecum's third law of motion? I've not quite mastered it, no. Oh, that's basic level college stuff they taught us. Well, you know, maybe if you know, I knew someone like Kumkachka or someone to show me, it'd be a oh, different story. Oh, you know Kumkachka! He's oh, my yeah, good but... friend! He's oh, visiting! Really? Oh, he's here? Oh, I always wanted to, to have a nice lecture from him. I heard he's, he's quite brilliant. He's loony as a fucking daft! Oh, that's what they say about all the brilliant fool no, he's, eventually. He's, no, he's been gone for almost 200 years. Completely lost his marbles. Oh, really? I told him, no! There's no way you could summon an organic iron tower to the back of a dragon. 
I like look down. Sure indication of his brilliance. He managed to pull it off. Yeah, but he had to use his left toenail to do it. The big one too. It hurt like hell. I think. Oh had yeah, meet. that's. Yeah, he was taking heroin all day. Just <laughs> that's. Yeah, but surprising to hear. Uh, wow. Well, no, you know, I am sounds... a healer. Perhaps I could help with that. Oh no, no. He said not to be disturbed. He said, you know, he said something about if people came looking for him, actually. Give me a second here. And he just starts, like, scratching his head, and he pulls out, a, uh, like, a Gandalf-style pipe and some halfling pipe leaf. It's the old Toby. Mm -hmm. And he's just using his fingers, like, oh, it's not as good as it was in the old day. And then he gets, like, a big bright flame. He's like, oh, oh, my goodness. Oh, I almost burnt my eyebrows uh -huh. off with that one. Now, what did he tell me to do with people who showed up outside here? Just, just well, give me a you moment, Well, you know, the, the very least, uh, some warm tea and, and and biscuits could be, you know, offered, huh? Eh? Eh? A little, just hospitality? Was that on the list? So he's like, oh, well, it's not technically my house or my damn tower, but sure, I could sing you some up. And so he just opens his mouth and like elven flows out of it like a song and you realize he's he's speaking like ancient high elven and just a wooden table comes out of the ground and grows into this beautiful buffet table with like berries certain types of plants basically all organic perfectly vegan source type and after about a minute of this he stops singing he's like oh I still got it in me. Mother always told me I have a fine set of pipes. Uh, I, is, I, I like walk over and I'm like, that is brilliant. Uh, my name's Dirk, Dirk Beverly. Uh, it's nice to meet your acquaintance. So he, he uh, shakes your hand, but he's got his pipe in the hand. I do like an awkward, like, <laughs> I just grab the like pipe in the hand. Yeah. <laughs> he's just like, my name's Annalise. Uh, Hello, Liz. My name my is Aaron Wren. Yeah. Pleasure to meet you. The Aaron Wren. Well, he's an Aaron Wren for sure, right? And at least. I'm not <laughs> sure if it's the. I heard hey. something. You know, Kamkachka told me about a man named Aaron Wren. I just... I can't remember. There's something important about it. Well, I'm pleased to make your acquaintance if my old friend knows who you are. Oh, the pleasure is all mine, I assure you. And he turns toward Harlow and he's like, Oh my goodness! Is that a... Do you know what that blade is, son? Yes. It's a oh. meteorite. Aye, it is. You know I'm how Harlow. hard it is to find a <laughs> meteorite? Real Very land! Hard. Well, you know, like it's got to land... Hard. Yeah, land somewhere where it doesn't destroy where it's landed. It's it's quite a feat to get a little chunk of that. So he's like, huh? What would it take to buy this off of you? Uh, I like, I try to like pull, I'm like, I'm like, oh, hold on. Uh, let's not be hasty with business, eh? And I try to like pull Harlow aside. Uh, okay, yes. okay. Just the things I could do with some meteorite. I could, maybe I could summon a devil. Make yeah. do my bidding. So as we're going, I come over and I'm like, "Look, this is uh, this is our chance to get inside. Maybe we say we just want uh, some lessons of about planar stepping from uh, from Kamkatchka or some reason to get get inside, you know, and uh, say, you know, if if the uh, services rendered to us are adequate, then we'll gladly hand over the sword. It'll get us in." So the guy taps his ears. He's like, "You know, I can hear you." I'm an oh. elf. These these aren't for show. I'm like, all right, all right. If you're well, you heard the deal. Trick me in by saying you're gonna give me the sword and then not give it to me. I'll probably use some sort of spell that turns you into a goat. No, I was clearly going to tell you that as long as services rendered are appropriate, we'd give the sword. It's a little bit, you know, if we go in there and the you're like, well, planar stepping. It's like. You know, regular stepping, but through the planes. All right, hand me the sword. <laughs> well, 
Well, planar not what stepping, we're looking for. It's, they're very similar, as long as you understand nth dimensional ergonomic mathematics. Which is what I need to get down to the core of, right? So, you know, we're wasting time up here. If, if I feel like I could get, you know, a, a firm education, a grasp on the concept. Well, then it gladly... sounds like you don't even know Tecum's four laws. And then there's the zeroth law. It's very confusing. Wait, the zeroth law comes first, or? No, it comes rest? last. Oh, yeah, this is confusing. Yeah. <laughs> That's just the that laws. Work? You don't even know what they involve. I mean, when you step in between the planes, if you make any small mistake, you could rip open a hole and destroy the fabric of reality. That's why they only let really powerful wizards do it. And so um, that would be bad. <laughs> he just takes a huge <laughs> toke on his halfling pipe leaf. He's like, what well, do you like, reality, son? <laughs> Occasionally, like, yes. Yeah, like, it has some good points. I mean, the structure of the universe is one where the number one always equals one. If one equals zero, everything starts breaking down. Fire becomes water. Water becomes ice. Ice becomes some sort of structure made out of dead cockroaches. That's terrible. Crazy shit happens. Um, well, as long as cats and dogs don't start living together, I don't really don't see what the big deal what's is. What's a cat? A bobcat. I'm like, this is a cat. And I <laughs> point out at, at my bobcat. Isn't it cute? Don't touch it. It's flighty and ferocious. It's like, that's a bobcat. That's not a, a cat. I mean, I guess you could sort it to that. Sure. It's like, it's like a, a, I reckon it's just a bigger one. <clears throat> Wait a second. I remember now. Kamchatka told me to kill anybody that was looking for him. <laughs> and then he's like, Wait a second. And he's got your cat. He's like petting the cat. He's like, Wait a second. And you can see he's forming a fireball in his hand. Okay. I'm going to. Uh... Hold on, let me just double check because uh, I'm going to be ranger. What is my cold shots? Uh, he's not defenseless or surprised. Uh, he might be. Just a, I'll, uh, you know what? I'll tell you what. If you want to do this, he'll be surprised. He's a little, you know. Okay, so I definitely am going to go uh, shoot for the for the arms. Okay. Um, you going to get your cat involved? Um. Yeah, I'm sure. As soon as the as soon as the I get like my bow. Like arrow on the string, uh, uh, yeah. I'm just like, runner, get ready to run, and then I loose my arrow right at the arm. Okay, Ooh. and I fail. <laughs> Mark one XP. Yeah, that XP. Oh uh, yeah, that thing we play the game to get, right? Right. So once I see, uh, once I see Dirk doing that, and obviously him like starting to form a fireball, I uh. I take like two steps forward and just flip that table <laughs> up, up at him. Okay, so here's what's happening. You're flipping the table at him. He's petting the bobcat. He picks the bobcat up and throws it over to Benezia. And the bobcat's like, Mah! It does the, oh, you know what? We were talking about Avatar before. So uh, it does the Legend of Korra thing where Asami's pulled away from her dad in the final episode. She's like, no! And her dad's just like, yep, yep, tears streaming down my face. Yeah, that's what happens. The bobcat's like, no, dang. He's just flying up up towards the other yep. dragon. <laughs> it could yeah. be some time before he comes back. Tell me what you're going to do with this table. You're throwing it at him? Uh, I'd like to, like, push it as, like, a shield and charge at him. Okay, cool. That sounds like you're hack and slashing. <laughs> Your weapon is the, she the, uh, <laughs> the table. The table. <laughs> How uh, big we is are the doing table? a lot of wrestling references today now, right? Come on, we're attacking yeah. with tables. How Set the table, the table back about? up and then drop them. <laughs> Letters and chairs. Arthur, how big is the table? Uh, that's a good question. How big do you want the table? I mean, it was a buffet table size, right? So like a long... uh, I was thinking like a coffee table. Yeah, that's reasonable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Mark XP. 
Yeah, you're kicking the table at him, and he just, like, lifts the table up with his magic. He's just like, boop, and it, it just floats over him, and he brings it back down on top of you. <laughs> uh, so, can you roll... Let's see here. Where is he at? Can you roll 1d10 for how much damage is dealt to you as you get hit in the head with the table? Does my armor matter at all? It does. What God. the fuck? <laughs> Get wrecked. So, uh, this table literally... It's not just that one leg hits you in the temple. It's spinning so every single leg hits you in the temple. And breaks oh. off. It's like, no... Crack, 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 crack. And then that's with two armor. So that's for eight. Yeah, yeah. Or, yeah. Budge. I think while he was lifting the table up, I go sliding underneath and to take a swing at him with my warhammer. All right, yeah, you RKO out of nowhere, hit him right in the balls, you squash them nads. Let's see, that is based on strength. Strength. No bonus. Oh, <laughs> I can see how tonight's going to go for me. <laughs> so, yeah, you're you're sliding under the table in slow motion. You come up, you got your Warhammer, you're going for a wide thing. It looks like he's not going to be able to bring his hands around in time, and that's when he blows the smoke out of his mouth, and it just ignites the air into a fireball and hits you in the face. Oh, God. You roll a d10, and this damage pierces armor. He ignores it completely. Yeah, Another like fire. so you get toasted, and instead of leaping at him, you're just like ah, and he's like, "You trying to mess with the high elven mage sons? I'll take you all and spank you out the town like the bobcat. I'll give you one chance. Uh, get the hell off of my god's down tower." Um, I'm going to not get off of his tower. I'm going to try <laughs> to shoot him in the face. <laughs> okay. With my bow. Uh, Go ahead. And I'm like, uh. Thanks for the snack. Why don't you eat some iron? Boom. Eat some iron. Uh, roll that damage. Oh, God. <laughs> and I don't have my freaking cougar to add any damage. You could say that you lost your class ability. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm going to... Um, yeah, I'm just going to, like, start dodge rolling. Lots of dodge rolling. <laughs> All right, yeah. Uh, why don't you make a deck save? As he um, begins singing again, and Elvin and Icicle start shooting up out of the ground. Yeah, I like leaping and diving over them. They're, like, just, like, almost stabbing me left and right. Ooh. All right, I'll tell you what's happening here. You can avoid one, but if you do, you're going to slam... Right into Harlow and knock him over the edge. Or you can take the hit. Are we still tied together? No. I think you guys probably untied yourselves. Um. Well, no, you guys never actually untied yourselves, so you'd be fine. You just fall 50 feet and slam into the side of the tower. Yeah, but we need him to kill the guy. Um. <laughs> Yeah, I think I, like, go, and I go to, like, put my hand in a spot to do, like, another handspring, and it just goes, like, right through my hand. Uh, I thought we were going to go with Twister, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it goes right through your hand. All right, roll a D10. D10. Ignores armor. As chat says, fastest TPK in history. Okay. okay. Anyone else want to bust a move here? Um... I think I want to try and cast Cause Fear on him. Excellent. Let's do it. The object he's afraid of is the bell tower. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. <laughs> oh, man. Let's do it. Yes. Nice. Yep. <laughs> he immediately just leaps in the air. He's like, away! <laughs> <laughs> he jumps over to Benezia. Okay. Um... Yeah, I like think about like <laughs> letting loose a few arrows after him, and then I'm like, he's not even worth it, and like, uh, you know, put him back in my. Um, 
sack. Uh, um, like my, my damn cat's gone again. <laughs> Did anyone back. see where he went? I mean, he can't have gone <laughs> anywhere. We're up on this tower, right? Like. <coughs> uh, okay. Looks like he went back over. He got flung back over to Benezia. Oh god damn it! All right, All well, right. we can find him later after we bring back this wizard. All right, uh, and I like walk over to the bell tower. You said it like went down into an entrance. It, so it... it's like the season one of Lost. There's just a hatch underneath the bell. Okay. That you can open and pop out, and it's currently <laughs> open. Right. Uh, so I go, I go down and take like a peek inside. Uh, I, think, I think now would be a good time to cast Cure Light Wounds on myself. As oh, well. really? You think yeah. you would? I okay. was going to use Poultice and Herbs as well. <laughs> All right. Do what you want, man. I'm not going to stop you. Ba -ba -da -ba. Oh, no. Wrecked. Wrecked. Why'd you roll D7? That is for poultice weird. and herbs. Oh, oh. I, I thought they were. Uh, I thought it restores seven. Yeah. Is it? I thought it was one. Yeah, I think it restore. It just restores a flat seven. <clears throat> okay, so oh, yeah. the first floor of the ice tower, uh, the ceiling is ten foot up, so it's a ten foot drop to get down to the next area. And it's a very nice sitting room. There's like a green throw rug with some uh, diamond symbols uh, in alternating patterns in it. So there's like a diamond and a diamond and a diamond with, you know, like green, red, green, red, green, red. Uh, very tasteful decor. A picture of like a sailing ship uh, in water, which is very, like you've never seen anything like this before. It's super strange. And there's four seats, and they all have those, you know, like, arm covers made out of, like, lace doilies. <clears throat> and there's also a tray with a nice steaming hot cup of tea and teapot and some biscuits. Uh, I'm going to, like, rummage around a little bit, just okay. see if there's any, like, drawers with, like, loose coin in them. Yeah, like when you when you hit the the wood floor and you start looking through drawers. I mean, there's nothing. There's no drawers in here. Uh, but when you start like flipping over chairs to look for stuff, you hear like a very dry voice go. So I understand you are looking for me. It's not good time for you, I think. Uh, is this coming from uh, like behind, directly Everywhere. behind me? Oh no! It's echoing off the walls. Um, I ignore the voice. I pretend I don't hear. I didn't hear it at all. Okay. And just keep like rummaging through stuff, and then I'm like, uh, like there's not much. There's not much here, and I don't. Uh, uh, I don't know uh, if this is actually where the wizard hangs out. <laughs> and I like give like a funny <laughs> look to the guys as they jump. I, uh, just kind of shrug, like, yeah, I don't I know. come down as well. I was trying to end. On a cliffhanger where it was like, there's a voice all around you. But then you were like, no, everything's fine. Come on down, guys. <laughs> so that was my failed attempt at a cliffhanger. Thanks I didn't once realize more what time it was. Sorry, I didn't realize what time it was. It's all right. It's time for a break. We're at, we're at 10 o'clock. So uh, we're going to go for two more hours when we get back. Uh, we're going to have like a seven-minute break here. Boom. Nailed it.